Good morning. Welcome to Sacred Heart St. Francis de Sales Church. And welcome to anyone who is visiting with us today. Please stand now and take a moment to greet those around us before we begin Mass. Let us praise the Lord with hymn number 192. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The peace and the grace, the fellowship of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We come here this day to recognize God's presence in our life, and we look at the jealousy that we have sometimes that seeps into our relationships with one another. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. You, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth is to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and honor. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life 
or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven be like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off, went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers, give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more. But each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner and said, these last ones worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burdens and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. But if I wish to give this last one the same as you, or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious? Because I am generous. Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, are you envious? Are you jealous? A little bit of what the landowner said to the guys who got their money because of all day's wages. They say money is the root of all evil. Money helps us do what we have to do. But do you know, do you know, in the United States in 2004, 
43 billion dollars was spent on what? Pets. 2015, 53 billion dollars was spent on pets. I have nothing against pets. I have nothing against second chance because, as you know, look in the, I see the obituaries a lot more often than I want to, but I got three funerals coming up this week. But so often, the biggest recipient of donations in someone's name is to second chance. Not that there's anything bad about it, but it's clearly where people's priorities are because the dog is like God spelled backwards or whatever. Um, but think about how we spend money and what it's about and how it kind of seeps into our daily lives and corrupts us or makes us angry, gets us upset. These guys were very upset. You know, Jesus wrote, uh, didn't write anything down except in the sand, but he had 40, four zero parables. And out of those 40 parables, two thirds were about money. So clearly, money could have been, it was an issue back then, it's an issue today. Equal wages. They do say that every 15 seconds, a child is born into poverty. In every 53 minutes, children, a child dies in poverty. So there's not equality among people's needs for their lives. So today's story is a clear one because it talks to us probably more directly than we would like. Maybe we're like that guy, most of us are in here, we probably came in at the beginning of the of the work day, I worked all day in the heat of the sun, and these other guys come walking in at the end and get the same pay. It's not fair. We learned that a very little child. It's not fair. The same piece you remember in the prodigal son. Which one do you identify with? Maybe most of us would identify with the older brother and said, it's not fair. My brother went out and spent everything and he comes back and dad gives him everything. So it's a challenge to see how our God is a generous God, is a giving God. God doesn't judge in the same way as we judge. So hopefully this is a chance for us when we come here together to reflect on what's really important. Do we live by society's norms or do we live by the principles and the policies of being a Christian in today's world? It's not easy, but maybe our coming here on a regular basis kind of reaffirms our commitment to the cause of helping people. I know we like to be the Good Samaritan, but maybe we've been like those other two characters that walked by the person who was fall, had fallen down. So our challenge is to kind of look at things with a different set of lenses as we come here today. So are you jealous? Are you envious? We know a generous God. Can we live and understand God is always with us in the good times and the most difficult times. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Let us bring to the Lord our prayers and for all the world in need. For God's holy church, may we continuously seek the Lord and come to know and emulate God's ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who seek God and for those inquiring into Christianity, that the Spirit of God will open them to God's presence and lead them into a life-giving relationship with Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people who, who are in religious education, particularly those who are preparing for sacraments this year, that they may grow in their knowledge and love of God and in their commitment to the Christian community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are recovering from disasters and those working to assist them, that God will give them strength, wisdom, and, and protect them from harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout the world, that God will help us recognize the value of peace and guide us in promoting the dignity of every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Magdalene Hogan. May they experience the fullness of joy with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, united through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Generous God, we ask you to hear these our prayers. We pray that you make us liberal stewards of the abundant gifts you have so lavishly shared with us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. We do have two collections today. One is for the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C., not St. Michael's or Notre Dame or Stonehill, other Catholic schools, but the one in Washington, D.C., run by the bishops and also the vic uh, victims of the Hurricane Irma. Thank you for your generosity. The Offertory Hymn is This Alone, number 401.
Friends, pray now my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to the Lord our God. We see with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human family, and so through him, with great goodness, you formed its anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels in a joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy to be glorified O God who love the human race who always walk with us on the journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most first we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he was to suffer, the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with favor upon the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ handed on to us. Grant by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now to the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant we may be conformed to the image of your Son, confirming us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope, Christopher our Bishop, bishops and priests and deacons, your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking to the signs of the times, by the light of faith, they constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. 
Keep us attentive to the needs of all that's sharing grief, pain, joy, and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation. Go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. In the resurrection, give them fullness of life. Grant also to us when earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to the eternal dwelling place to live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, the martyrs, Andre, all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Glory be with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not in the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant peace, unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's now share a sign. Behold the Lamb of God, the one who brings the peace. Happy those who come to share this meal. Lord, I am not worthy to be your center.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. A couple of announcements I'd like to bring to your attention. Our faith formation classes for grades one to eight begin next Sunday the first. If you missed a chance to sign up last Sunday, Forms that will be found in the bulletin board at the main entrance of the church or at the parish office. And following this mass, Jessica O'Connor will be handing out registration forms for this year's faith formation. Stop by and pick the registration up at the entrance of the church. I also thank Jessica and Molly for singing today. Thank you very much for helping us celebrate. Thank our service. This girl is a star on the soccer field. This guy is a song and dance man So, in our parish school. So we thank you guys. And following this mass, we want to thank Janet Lucy for her 17 years of committed service in faith formation. So there can be reception after the mass today. She's the lady and I, I am blessed shirt right there. Thank you, and the hospitality committee has set up a, a wonderful reception, so please join us for food and fun and flowers. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit come upon us this day. Now let us go forth to love, serve the Lord and one another.
Forgot to tell you, there's, oops, it's going to be done. I forgot one last announcement. I knew there was something else. There's a Vermont Catholic magazine is at the entrance of the church. Some wonderful articles. It's the best one I've seen since I've been here. It also includes a little piece about the church down in Palano, along with the other churches that have been converted to other uh, places in which people live or work. So it's at the entrance of the church. Sorry, Don. Last song. Number 616, We Are Called. <laughs> 